The Invisible Man was written and directed by Lee Winnell, and it was pretty good. In this adaptation of the story, the main character, Cecilia, played by Elizabeth Moss, escapes an abusive relationship with a psychotic optic scientist. A couple weeks later, he's pronounced dead, but not long after, Cecilia begins to be stalked and abused by an invisible being who she knows to be her abusive ex, leaving her with the dilemma of trying to prove he's still alive, even though nobody can see him. My main concern going into this film was that it had one of those trailers that makes you think you may have seen the entire film already, but thankfully the film has a lot more to offer than what was portrayed in all of the promotional material. It's much more suspenseful than I expected, and that opening sequence is incredibly well done. It's funny, even though you know from the trailer that she gets out of the house, I was still like, oh, what's gonna happen? The film does a good job of building up how much of an absolute prick this guy is, just bit by bit. I really like the way they reveal the first indication that this guy is just the worst. The first time you see his dog, we get this quick little close-up to let everybody know that this pupper is wearing a shock collar, and you're just like, you invisible bitch. I hate you. There were plenty of suspenseful sequences throughout the film, and it did a good job of being more subtle in the places that it needed to be. Like, instead of always having some stuff moving around in the background to indicate that this guy is in the room, the camera will just kind of pan over a little bit and hold on an area for long enough to be like, yeah, sorry, he's here. Without spoiling anything, I like what they came up with for how he's able to be invisible. To me, it was a lot more plausible than him inventing some invisible juice, and I appreciate the thought that was put into the science fiction elements of this. I'm finding that Lee Winnell has a talent for directing action scenes. He also directed Upgrade, and the action was my favorite part of that movie. The third act of The Invisible Man is when it goes from a psychological thriller into a full-on action movie, and there was one particular sequence in a hallway where I was like, that looked great, thank you for not cutting every split second. Elizabeth Moss was great as usual, and the themes of domestic violence worked pretty seamlessly with The Invisible Man premise in the sense that when people are severely abused, it usually happens behind closed doors. Their struggle is invisible, and sometimes they aren't even believed. They even did a little gaslighting symbolism with that stove scene, like, I I see what you guys did. I do have a couple of nitpicks that kind of bugged me, and they mostly have to do with stuff like, how did he get over there so fast? Does he have super strength when he's not invisible? I mean, yeah, he's in good shape, but Jesus Christ. There's one particular part where they do the inevitable having to dump something onto the invisible man to be able to see him bit, and he just splashes a little water on his cheeks and he's invisible again. Like, there was an entire bucket of paint dumped on you and you just went over to the sink and did a little splashy splash and now you're all clean. I just don't know about that. But other than a couple of things like that that might make you roll your eyes, it's still a pretty solid film and it's accessible, so I feel like you could pretty much recommend this to whoever. Like I said, pretty good. And if you want to see more videos from me, make sure to like, subscribe, click the bell, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!